Bill signed into law today by the governor protecting victims of domestic violence by disarming their abusers. We spoke with state rep Teresa Tanzi, who's one of the sponsors of the bill. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lashuto is live now from the state house with more. Sheena. Yes, it's been a three year journey for those behind the bill and one of the sponsors told me that the reason why she's been pushing for this outcome is because of the work she did with domestic violence victims. And 48% of all representative Teresa Tanzi gave hours of testimony at the state house fighting for legislation she says will save lives. Um, it's not often that I feel that the process worked, but in this case it really did. But now after three years of uncertainty of the legislation's future, she celebrates the bill becoming a law. In Rhode Island, those convicted or pleading to a crime of domestic violence will have 24 hours to turn in any guns in their possession. When someone is convicted of a misdemeanor crime of domestic violence, one that includes um, violence, an act of violence, um, then they um, also lose their right to a gun um, for five years beyond the conviction. Previous discussions on the floor that opposed the bill said the idea goes against the Constitution. Some argued it's the person and behind the gun who's the problem and not the weapon. But to people like Representative Tanzi, there's no room to take chances when it comes to domestic violence. When they leave, it is the time that they're most at risk of murder. Um, so it was something that um, was always in the back of my mind with the work that I did because we had to develop very detailed safety plans. Rhode Island now joins 27 other states with similar protections. The bill takes effect immediately. Live in Providence, I'm Sheena Lushuto, Eyewitness News.